Hello again, this is Kirk Greeny with Exgility, and today I'm here to bring you another tip to help you achieve transformational results in your business. Today I'm going to be talking about requiring checkout for document libraries and Microsoft SharePoint. So I want to give you just two reasons why you might want to use this feature. Uh, the first reason that you may want to use this feature is you may have a document library and you want to control uh, only allowing one person to edit the document at a time. The second reason why you should consider using this feature is it will give you the ability to save multiple versions of your file and the ability to allow you to recover back to any of those major or minor versions in the event that you have made changes that you may not want to keep in your document library or documents inside of your document library. So the first step in setting up uh, requirements for checking out documents in a document library is to click on your document library, then go open the ribbon at the top of SharePoint or SharePoint Online and click on your library settings. The second step is to then go and click on the red hyperlink uh, section where it talks about versioning settings and go into your versioning settings. There's a couple of options that are relatively small on this screen, so I'll just go through them quickly for you. So the first option is yes or no, do you want to require content approval for submitted items? In this particular case on this library, I don't need to do that, but if you are publishing this library out to a large audience, Maybe you have company policies, or you may be pu publishing these particular documents out to a large uh, customer audience or potentially even a partner audience. You may want to have an approver uh, approve any of the document changes before they're published out to a extranet or potentially even a website. So the second and one of the most important sections there is do you want to create a version each time you edit the file in the document library? Uh, in my case, I want to create major versions, um, but in the case of the example I gave before where you're publishing these files out to a large audience, you might also want the ability to publish minor versions so that a smaller audience can review those minor versions before they are published out to the larger audience that would be able to review only the major versions. Uh, so in my case, I want to keep five major versions that I could recover to. If I was also keeping minor versions, I could choose how many minor versions to keep. And the last item here on the screen that you want to pay very close attention to is obviously checking out yes. I do want to require that documents be checked out before they will be edited. So I want to give you an idea of what it looks like if you either open your document inside of Microsoft Word and go into your recent documents and open it again, or if you were to go into the document library, click on edit and open the document. At the top of your document, whether it's Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, you are going to see a message that says checkout required. To modify this server document, you must check it out. Uh, you then, of course, click on the button that says checkout, and very important, please pay attention here to this section. You are going to want to make sure that you check in your document when you are done making your edits or if you're not going to be working on the document for a while. This is very important because Others that may want to edit the document will either have to track you down or find your systems administrator to get you to check back in the document before they can make edits. So I want to thank you to your, for your time today. Uh, this has been Kirk Greening with Exgility, and I hope we have given you another tip today to help you achieve transformational results in your business. If you have questions or you need additional help, you can contact us at the SharePoint Solutions Center by emailing us at info at